Hello and welcome, my name is Kyle for the win and welcome back to a another episode of The Outer Worlds. In our last episode, we pretty much finished off the rest of the Come Now the Power quest. But of course we had to jump into a few kindred spirits at the beginning of this video because we actually couldn't complete the Come Now the Power quest at the moment because we need to talk to the deserters to return back to Edgewater. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this. We're going to be playing the Few Kindred Spirits mission in this play session, at least maybe not this entire play session, but we are going to be playing it in this play session for sure. Now, I just wanted to check really quick her armor. So she has a s armor of seven, and I want to go back to my inventory and check and see the armor that I have. Oh, I already got rid of it. Never mind. Okay, cool. And I also wanted to check my weapon because that's why my weapon was so crap because it's so it's has a very very low condition so let's see if we can repair this guy uh weapon parts required dang it i only have three weapon parts though that kind of sucks so let me go ahead and see if i can switch out these weapons here 54 yeah let's go ahead and switch out these weapons actually let me use the revolver instead may not have good weapons but at least we have or the revolver might not be as good as my other weapons, but at least it's got ammo in it. So let's go ahead and jump into this quest here. So we basically have to search for clues. It said, uh, yeah, it says a few kindred spirits. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Grace doesn't know where Zoe might have gone. So you suggested checking the shack where Zoe beds down for any hints as where she might have gone. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So... Okay, that would just be stuff I could steal. That's just stuff I could steal. Sorry. Basically would be... Pardon me stealing all that. So that door is sealed. And let's continue to go around. Oh, cool. So we just went to the wrong area. Alright, so this is where she used to live. Let's take a gander. So... Examine. Zoe's journal, page 12. So that's it then. No more Edgewater for me. No more cannery. No more jumpsuits and gloves. Yes, ma'ams, and would you like another's? I don't know why I'm writing this down for posterity's sake, because I've always hated the cannery, and I don't think I'll ever have to look back to this journal many years hence and tell myself, oh wow, I did hate the veil once, once, didn't I? Just because I got sick, everybody gets sick. Well, okay, I got sick and I grabbed a little too much Adrena time. Is that really a crime? I gotta treat myself when I'm sick, don't I? Whatever happened to personal responsibility and surviving by one's own bootstraps? Oh, but you misappropriate one box of Adrena time and suddenly you're committing larceny. Okay. Interesting. So I guess she was sick. We can sleep in beds. Oh, cool. That's interesting. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. That's for sure. Ooh, there's another note right here. Zoe's journal, page 18. Good news, I'm alive. Starting to feel a little better, too. There's a group of deserters living out in the botanical labs. They found a way to grow some food or something that passes for food anyway adelaide boiled a pot of something green and leafy told me to drink it twice a day for my symptoms i suppose tastes atrocious but i've been feeling it better it's nice to be away from the cannery the labs have just enough power to run an ether wave so i've been catching up on my serial dramas masked marketeer what would i do without you go crazy most likely crack up murder all of my neighbors and run screaming into the hills like some wild marauder i don't know this that doesn't sound too bad. I could see myself leading a card eh? of marauders. A band of bandits. Wait, doesn't wait, that doesn't sound right. Band of bandits? What would we call ourselves? The formidable fourteen, the hundred hooligans featuring Zoe Bandit Queen. Okay. That is not the best thing in the world, that's for sure. Uh, Zoe's journal, page twenty two. Well today's the day, Zoe. Today's the day you're gonna you take your destiny into your own hands. I've been listening to Grace talk about the Marauder threat. Bands of wild, free-spirited bandits living in camps out in the hills, warming themselves by the light of barrel fires, probably mounted the heads of their enemies on spikes as a warning to folk like me. Living a life of comfort and ease, free of any rules, I bet they could take the whole region if they were organized. I've been tucking away some of Adelaide's food, and I've got some spare cans of salt tuna. Should last me a couple of weeks if I ration. Got some Adrena time, too. Everybody loves Adrena time. Even marauders, right? I got odds those marauders will let me throw in with 
in with them if I dangle a couple syringes of Adrena time before their eyes. This is going to be great. Look out, Terra 2, Bandit Queen Zoe's origin story has just begun. I'm going to have a whole gang, gang of marauders at my back, or at my beck and call. Maybe I can even score some Rizzo's. Okay, so we search Zoe's home for clues now. And looks like we have actually a place to go. Find Zoe. So I guess she decided that she wanted to be a marauder. Well, they'll do what they want to do, I guess. But let's go ahead and see if we can find them. But yeah, again, love that I'm going back to doing walkthroughs and stuff like that. They are just very, very fun to do. And the way that I'm doing them now on this channel makes just everything so, so much easier. You know, just pre-recording it all and kind of going from there. So I just wanted to check and make sure my recording was all good. Oh, crap. Melee weapon. Nice. Pavardi is a beast. She really is. Come on. Nice! Yes, let's go. Beautiful. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up... Lo lo loot these guys, I should say. Yes, an assault rifle. Let's go. Finally a better weapon. Low pat... Ooh, that's a better helmet. It's a better helmet as well. I think the thing I like so much about this game is that it is a lot like Fallout, and that's what really what I like about it. Obviously, I like other single-player games that aren't Fallout, but the fact that this game is very similar to Fallout makes me like it a lot more. Let's go ahead and finally equip a better weapon. How much damage does this have? 215. It's a great weapon. And how much? Four armor. Nice. That is a way better helmet. But I guess we could give this helmet to Parvati. Par Par uh, yeah. Let's see if we can give this helmet to Parvati. Eh, never mind. She doesn't need it. Let's go ahead and take that away. What? Well, I guess she's going to keep it for now. Ooh, I like those iron sights. Another mag pick. Adrena. I'm going to have to tap fire this weapon, though. I don't want to want it to run out of ammo too quickly. Zoe Chandler. Okay, are there any guarding outside? Okay, tamed candid. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, there's a lot of guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. I did not realize there would be this many. Are they all gone though? Uh oh. Dang it. Okay. Let's go ahead and... I think we already have one of those. A sentry saber. I think that is our main weapon, actually. Yep. Definitely. Go ahead and see if we can find some more armor off these guys. Or more ammo, I mean. Tech kit. What does this do? Armor mod. Increases your tech skill. Interesting. Okay. More heavy ammo. Another Adreno. Adreno. 
All right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Ooh. I really wish I had grenades, honestly. No. I need to be more careful. Nice. Well, at least she's not hostile immediately. Ooh, perfect. More bit cart cartridges. More ammo. I love that the red bins give you a lot of ammo. That's really, really good to know. Frozen dinner. Okay. Uh, what is this? Spacer's Cha. Okay, so actually, I just noticed, actually, that you can earn, or that your health regens on on its own. I just noticed that, like, a little bit ago, which is I think is really, really cool. Let's go ahead and explore more of this area, see if we can find anything else. I don't think there really is anything else. Let's go ahead and talk to Zoe. Wow. You crossed them all off, like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. Teach me your ways. You're Zoe? Your people are looking for you. What? You mean Adelaide's little congregation of nature-loving nobodies? I could not possibly be less interested in them. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. I've been sent to find you. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. Persuade a 25. I can't imagine you're happy out here. Food's awful company worse and no serial dramas. Um, let me just say, I need you to clarify something for me. I'm great at clarifying. Are you a prisoner here? Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. I'm impressed. How'd you pull it off? I may have bartered them a few boxes of Adrena time, but yeah, I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. How are you even alive? I don't know. The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. Oh, you mean around these guys? The Marauders wouldn't hurt me. They love me. I'm practically their queen. Yeah, it must be my natural charisma. Why did you leave camp? I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find? but a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. Okay. There was something else, actually. I've got all the time in Halcyon. So, now we're back into the, the check. So I guess we can only do the persuade, persuade check of 25 to say, I can't imagine you're happy out here. Food's awful, company worse, and no serial dramas. And no serial dramas. I've been thinking about going back. I just gotta know if Lord Cavendish really is the masked marketeer. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is gonna be glaring knives at me, so I've got that to look forward to. Take care. Alright, well, we have completed that quest, I think, pretty solidly. Let me just go ahead and explore the rest of this area and see if there's anything else I can find. Because you never know. You never know. I think we're just... I think, like, this first planet or this first area we're in is basically just an area where we get the starting weapons and stuff and learn the learn the beginnings of the game basically and everything like that which obviously makes a lot of sense and then i think once we get to i think once we get to you know, other planets will find better weapons and everything like that. I think that's kind of how things are. So, let's go ahead and fast travel back 
to the mechanical lab. Again, I don't see any point in running back and forth when we can fast travel and make everything go by faster. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. Order yours today. Of course, that's the light pistol. But again, game is fun. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 a solid game. I can definitely see why the ratings have been 9 out of 10 by a lot of different groups. I mean, there's just a, something about games like this that people just really enjoy. Whether it's, you know, it doesn't have to even be in a Fallout type universe. They can just have a game like this where you get armor, you get your weapons, and everything like that. And people are definitely going to like it. So, definitely am excited to play the rest of this game, continue on with the story, and everything like that. Let's see if Zoe has anything more to say. Home is where the heart is. Marauders took that saying a little too literally. And let's go ahead and talk to Grace once again. I'm not in the lightest of humors right now. I talked Zoe into coming back. We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened anyway? She joined up with a band of marauders. They hadn't hurt her. Zoe joined up with a band of marauders. Zoe. The same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. Well, I've heard stranger things. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Let me know if I can do something for you. Alright, now we can go back into talking her out of coming back. There's nothing left for you here. It's time to go back to Edgewater. The matter's been weighing on me. Zoe came back. But I couldn't keep her from slipping out in the first place. Who's to say I could keep marauders from slipping in? I don't see us lasting more than a couple of weeks out here. I'm loath to admit it. We're gonna have to make our peace with Thompson and hope he takes us back. Listen, we go back to Reed, hat in hand, begging for our old jobs back. Well, Adelaide's not gonna forgive us. She never talked to us again. Um... Thomas told me the same thing. Edgewater's not just a town to Adelaide. It's a symbol of everything that's wrong with this colony. A big, heartless machine of metal and gears grinding workers down to dust. We're the closest thing Adelaide's got to a family. We go back to Edgewater, she's gonna feel betrayed. Uh, I'm gonna say... Don't do anything hasty. I'm going to try and talk to Reed into stepping down or leave Adelaide behind the edge. Then Edgewater needs your back. Needs you back. You better be sure about this. We go back to Edgewater without Adelaide. She's never coming back. I'm sure it's time you went back to Edgewater. Let Adelaide stay here. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And I suspect Reed's learned his lesson by now. Might even be willing to talk terms with us. Hey, Thomas, gather up your personals and we'll go talk to Reed together. This is all happening so fast. Give me a little time to give this place a proper goodbye, yeah? If you find any more of those manuals, I'll be in Edgewater. If you see Reed, let him know we're coming back. Take care. All right. So, looks like that is now done. Let's go ahead and talk to Pavardi and see she, 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 see, see what she has to say. Sorry. Where are we headed? Oh, perception. Thomas seems very fond of you. He's just interested in fixing stuff. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kind of. Uh, let's see... Are you sure? He nearly fell over when he saw you. He never told me a word to that effect. And since he didn't, I didn't have to say nothing about being... about feeling different. And nothing had to get weird. If he wants to learn about engineering, we should help him get those data pads he wants. I'd like to do that for him. <laughs> Let's get back to it. Okay. Oh, man. Parvati is a interesting character, that's for sure. She She's interesting. 
Help the chairman and minister Clark defeat our foes. Pro- classic propaganda poster. But I do like Pavardi as a character. She's very really interesting. And I wonder if she has a has a full blown quest. That would be really, really cool if she had a full quest. That would be definitely something I'd be really interested in seeing, for sure, if she had a full quest. But maybe we have to do some specific things to unlock that quest. Like being nice to her or something like that. That's usually what that's usually how you get the companion quest within the Fallout games. So I wonder if that's the same uh, case with this game. But let's go ahead and head back to Reed. And I hope we made ourselves a good decision here and didn't mess up or anything like that. Now, I actually was watching, I watched all of my videos back and there was actually a terminal right here that I did not read. Let's go ahead and see it. Edgewater Salt Tuna Cannery, a Spacer's Choice property, terminal access logs. Notice, the Edgewater Salt Tuna Cannery canning facility strictly adheres to Spacer's Choice standards of health and safety. Notice, schedule your sick leave with your Spacer's Choice foreman and or supervisor. Be considerate towards other members of the Spacer's Choice family. Allow two to four weeks to process and approve your scheduled sick leave. Lost hours must be compensated by to the company. See Reed if you're having trouble paying for your sick leave. We'll try to arrange wage deductions instead. Remember, work invigorates the spirit. Sickness in the body reflects sickness in the mind and sickness in the character. If you find yourself falling ill, it may be time to schedule a meeting with your local vicar. Oh man, classic propaganda companies. 